Hey everybody, it's Laura, and I just wanna show you a really quick new feature in Illustrator. I was just doing a demonstration today and I was like, wow, this is really gonna come in handy. So here I am just making some rectangles, changing the color, dragging them around, making it a different color here and there. And then let's see, I'll make it purple and then I'll make it green and I'll just copy it and nudge it around. And so I was just nudging this around and I was like, oh, wait a minute, I really need that purple rectangle back. So I just uh, undo, 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 undo. Do you ever do that? <laughs> undo, oh, there it is, purple. Yes, well, you don't have to do that anymore because now there's a history panel in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go down here and open up the history panel. And now we can see everything that I just did. If I go all the way here, I'm down at this state and I can come back up here and find that purple rectangle. It's really, really great, especially if you do a lot of nudging like I do when I'm working in Illustrator. So there's a few other things that you might wanna know about this. It's not as full featured as the history panel in Photoshop, uh, but there's some really great things. So let's say if I come down here to the most current state, I can click on this little button at the bottom of the history panel, and that just opens up a new document, a copy in that future state. Then I can come back here and come back to one of my earlier states like this. That button is also sort of duplicated right here. You can use this option in the options menu, new document. So it's nice to know that I have that state in the future uh, saved over here and then I've got this one where I'm starting to work now. Now if I come to this state here in the middle or one of these like that and I make a change, watch what happens. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color of that purple rectangle to blue and then I lose all that future history. So just be aware of that. You can lose some things um, here in the history panel. Uh, another option that you can find here is a, let's see, set history limit. And I love this because it just opens up the preferences panel right to performance. And then here are your history states. So you can uh, downgrade this to 50 states or up to 200 states, which is great. And then click okay to, to accept that change. The other options that we have here, step backward, step forward are pretty self-explanatory. And then if you have a whole bunch of history, you can always click to clear it. And that way you're starting with a fresh 100 states of history. So this new feature came out in Adobe Illustrator 2022. That's version 26.4.1. Let me know in the comments if it's been useful to you. I'd love to hear if you're enjoying using the history panel. And please subscribe if you want to see my future Illustrator tutorials. My name is Laura Coyle. And my website is lauracoilcreative.com. If you look in the description below this video, you'll see a link to join my email list. And I send out Illustrator tips to my subscribers a couple of times a month. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.